What's happening y'all? It's Trey and Ricky, Narc Divers. So we are at the Big Muddy, and for whatever reason, I don't remember what boat ramp we're at, and neither does Ricky. No cell phone service, no signal whatsoever. So we're just kind of gonna wing it on where we're at. I know, we know where we're at, I just don't remember the name of it, so. The river looks really low. Not, we'll find out real quick how deep it is in certain spots. But we're gonna go up and down and see what we can run into and run some side imaging at least here in the boat ramp area and just kind of putt putt down the current or down this down the big muddy and see what we can run into so let's do this hopefully maybe we'll find something because uh if not it's kind of ape or actually it's more than that a lot of places searched and haven't found anything which i guess is a good thing and also a bad thing when you're trying to show people what you do and what you're trying to do. But anyway, let's get to it. Let's get in the boat, quit yapping. It's go time. We are on the boat, going upstream just a little bit, but I am really surprised it is 13 foot, 12 foot, at least in the center. I know when we're putting in, I was in the water and the boat was going backwards and it kind of dropped off pretty quick. So I'm really surprised. Hey, there's fish down there. But yeah, surprised that uh, it's even 13 foot, to be honest, as low as it is. But we're getting excellent reading, I like this. Let's see what we can get into. I'm gonna go back the other way, now that I got everything set up. Hopefully, uh, it'll be cool to find something. current is deceiving. It didn't look like it was moving that fast. It's actually kind of quick. Let's get into this. I didn't see anything on the first pass at all, so I'm just going to make a couple passes and see and go from there. It might go up river a little ways. If we can. I don't know if it's going to be blocked or not. More like the big nasty. Everything is going to need a bath. Thank you. 
I'm looking for it. Crashed the drone. Got the boat stuck. Just trying to find the drone. Ow! Gosh. Mm. You know, if I was dressed for the occasion, it wouldn't be that. Fuck about thorn bushes and sticker ball. Hmm. Well, we found it. Thank God it wasn't high. It's hot. Happy we got it. Stop flashing. All right. Oh. Got the drone back. Found it! Man, it is messed up. I'm pretty sure, yeah, actually I know, it is out of warranty. So, and the funny ironic part is, I haven't used the drone in quite some time because I haven't been by myself. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been by myself, I haven't had the time to throw it up, but I have not been piloting it near as much, so the controls are not, I'm not one with the controls, put it that way. And this is what happens. It is fucked up. So, let's see what I can do to fix it. The battery's about to come out. I heard it hit. I heard it fall through trees. I heard it hit again, and that's when it stopped. It kept trying to come up. I hear it. Yeah, that's bad. Give me some of that stuff. Yeah, because I don't want to drop in the mud and make it worse. There we go. All right. Got to hold this in place. Don't stop wanting to cooperate. <laughs> Put 
hope it still flies. It's cleaned up, looks like it all needs. It got really hot. Yeah, it's hot. You feel the heat on now? Yeah. All right, guys, we're back on the boat. I'm not too happy. Got the drone back, but there's a leg missing. The hatch is broke. All, everything that could have went wrong went wrong. Um, except I was able to get it back. I don't know, it was very weird. Flown that thing a million times, even in high wind. It was a clear day. I looked on there and all of a sudden it's going down. So I must have just barely clipped the top of a tree and it collapsed the leg and broke the leg. But we have the drone back, so there will be that footage in here. And we're gonna continue with it. And I'm pretty sure the warranty's up, so it looks like I'm out of the drone. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But quality's not gonna be the best whenever I was stumbling around on the little island. We got the drone back, so that's what counts. And no one was hurt or injured, except for the drone, and no birds. All right, y'all, Narc Divers family, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming along. It's been a long day, but this area is clear and there is nothing in here. But crashed the drone today, got it back, so we recovered the drone, which is cool, but not cool because fire and crash. But it is what it is. I'm just happy I got my SD card back with the footage and Time to do some homework for the next place we go. I'm gonna do a little uh, bit of thinking on this one. I'm gonna be doing a lot of asking around. So if you all know of a place that you would like searched in the Midwest or in Southern Illinois specifically, give us a call. It is 618-331-4001. 618-331-4001. Just to double check. Let's make sure that is right. 618-331-4001. If you need any help with anything water related, I don't care what it is. If it involves water, a pool, I, fix swim, I have fixed swimming pools. I have done search and recovery work. I've done search and rescue work. Uh, recover vehicles, boat motors, boat props, people. Uh, what else? Anyway, recovery work, anything water related, give me a call. If you want an area search give me a call as well i don't charge anything but i would take a donation for some gas other than that 618-331-4001 love y'all it's been a fun day everything is a disaster and muddy so we have to clean that so i'll see y'all in the next one so next time it's trey narc divers and ricky peace on earth stay cool and i'll see y'all in the water